I went to a high school in South India from where I gave the Indian school certificate examination in 1970. And yet, until 1970 at least, all the examination papers, save for Indian languages, were set in England and shipped to us from there. Now, they were placed in a very large iron safe. After the allotted time was up, our answer papers were collected. They were placed back in that safe for onward shipment to England for correction. And it's almost inconceivable to imagine that this was happening even 23 years after independence. Please try to imagine the subliminal messages being transmitted to the young minds in that hall. That we Indians were not competent enough to correct our own examination papers, let alone set them. And I first told this story to an audience of Indian entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley over a decade ago. And very coincidentally, in the audience was a schoolmate of mine. Six months later, he mailed me a news article from a UK newspaper. And in that article, it was announced that the AQA, which is an autonomous body that sets and assesses over 50% of school leaving answer papers in England, was now outsourcing the correction of those answer papers to India. The tables indeed had turned. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it appears that today all roads lead to India.